Hello everyone and welcome to a new game. Today we're playing Satisfactory. Satisfactory. Oh, Nick, are there, are there many things in life that you find satisfactory? I was just about to say the same, Isaac. I'm, I'm sure you, oh. you find, you know, you're satisfied with some things such as ribs. Yeah. Yeah, um, I, oh, I love them, Nick. They satisfy me a great deal. The mm, ribs, I love them. See, I've never know? had ribs in my life. Delicious, and it's true. Uh, Isaac hates me and resents me for it. <laughs> yep, that's it, Nick. I've known you for years, but the thing that crosses the line, the the, the last straw, is just the the ribs thing. Like, I can't, I can't handle it. You know, exactly. I'm not, I'm not about that. You know, that's the only thing. It, it's unsatisfactory, Nick. What can I say? What can I say? Not had ribs. So this is um, a factory building game. Oh my oh goodness! My you see God. This a, it looks walking. like a lobster, but I don't know if that's it's. It's walking backwards. I know it's so bizarre. What the? Oh, it's, it's called a lizard doggo, and I'm gonna pet him. Oh man! Oh, he ran away. Oh no! He's come gone. back, please! No, I, please! I just see no. you chasing a dog please. into the distance. I'm petting him wildly, Isaac. <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> what oh, is he's this? here. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm pressing E. I think he's become friends with me, Isaac, but I'm not oh, too sure. Maybe you've... Okay, I mean, I don't know if you could see this he, creature over away. here, Nick. This one is significantly more... Um, it seems peaceful. Uh, pff, I mean, that one... Mm, it looks like what nightmares are made of, Isaac. I'm not going to lie. There's no way those legs can hold up that body. Like, what? It, <laughs> they, <laughs> they must be like some kind of like super soaker suction cups, Isaac, that just... Right. Impale the grounds and create like a massive foundation. All that like large part of his body is just hollow. Like there's just yeah, nothing in that nothing top there. bit. He's just, just like a big helium balloon. <laughs> That's what he's like. Oh man. So Nick, if you, you this is your world, you're hosting this. So mm -hmm. if you press F and like deconstruct this starting pod, Nick, I believe we can get like our starting base up and running. Right. So I pressed F and it says hold left mouse button to dismantle. Yes. So I'm assuming that's what I have to do. So uh, here we go. Oh, it's gone. Oh, he's done it. He's done it. I've got an incoming message, Isaac, from Ada. You have your Fixit Incorporated Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. Note, according to Fixit regulations, every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. Third objective, please familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. Okay, I don't need to listen to this lady. I've heard it before. Yeah, so have I. Right, we're done with, with Ada. It says, find iron ore. So so you need, first of all, do you have your uh, Xeno Zapper? My Xeno Zapper? Yeah, if you press tab in your inventory here, in your uh, fix it inventory, I, you should have a Xeno uh, Zapper, which I you can very drag onto do your- I do have a Xeno Zapper, Isaac. Yeah, you can drag it onto your hand slot. There are two oh, slots, right. like a chest I slot see. and a hand slot. There you go. Now, if you left click, Oh, yeah. Can, you can zap. Now, you know, I wouldn't recommend damaging me going forward, but like if you come across a creature, Nick, that's, uh, you know, being a bit feisty, you can just pss, give it a quick little give shock. Give it a quick little and, shock, uh, yeah. And, you know, yeah. get rid of it. Yeah. Also, we have like an inbuilt scanning mechanism. So if you press uh, C, you will like send out a scan beacon Ooh, wow. into the distance. Yeah, I know, right? And it will highlight the nearest resources of the nearest pockets of iron. So our nearest pocket of iron is like I think this way, right. three hundred and eighty meters away. It's quite, it's quite, quite far, the, man. Quite the walk. Yeah, but there's a good amount of iron there, and we can go and harvest that resource. Right. We can press E to gather resources from deposits, and iron always needed for crafting. So it's it's very it's got a very factorio e vibe in that we start out you know we mine some resources we then start to work on like automating the production of different forms of iron like we turn yes. our iron into ingots we turn the ingots into like you know iron beams and, and then wire and Ooh, and all kinds of stuff that sounds and quite it tasty does kind of, yeah it, it kind of does beams? have the the feeling of like a 3d factorio uh, also we have this lovely lake here Nick. Mm. like i have no idea if I mean, water is needed but i mean oh look at that oh, you, you can swim we have a house isaac it definitely needs a view of this oh, place man. look we can I swim know, with right? those creatures over there that look quite scary i'm scared yeah we should, <laughs> we oh, should, we should probably stay on the away. surface <laughs> so we do have to press c again i think every now and again like you'll notice at the top in your like radar there your heads up display yeah the, it shows the iron. The here, here iron. Some. Yeah. Yeah, it's right Beautiful. here. Right. It looks like a flower to me, Isaac. No, 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 no. That's not, no, that's not, no, 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 no. That's, oop, enemies. Those I are think. enemies. That's not a flower. That's not the iron. Oh, no, wait. Are they, are they enemies? I have no idea. Uh, it zapped me. I can confirm yeah, they're enemies. I'm... Okay. Okay, I killed one. 
It's splattered. Oh, gosh. I've been attacked by another one. So health is in the bottom left, if you're wondering. Yeah, um, I've noticed as that. Of yeah, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. As of right now, I have no idea how you regain health. Um, maybe it's just passive. I'm not sure. There's only one of these buggers um, left. There, there we you go. go. This is the iron. Like, this like rock here. This is iron. So if you just walk up to it and press E. Oh, yeah. We'll start digging away. You can dig on the floor. Objective. Build the hub. No. To complete this objective, the resources salvaged from the drop pod will be consumed. Caution. Ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources. Failure to do so will likely result in non-optimal progress. We don't want non-optimal progress, Nick. No, that's, of course that's not. That's for sure. Because that's do you know what that is, sure. Isaac? It's not optimal. Man. It's, it's, it's not, not optimal. It's not yeah. optimal. Okay, so I've got, you know, 78 iron ore from this hall, this hall alone, but I don't know if that's a lot. Like, is that seems like loads to me. Yeah. Yeah. But is it? Okay, so I mean... It might. I, I don't know. Do you want to put? So do you have what it takes to make the? Did, did they did they give you like the? The building mode. Press Q. That's all. Q uh -huh. and then the hub. The hub. So you can make the hub because you've got the the crate that we started. Yes, I can make mm -hmm. the hub. Yeah, and you want to put that down on it. Said open terrain. So near iron. So I guess really anywhere around here, anywhere nearby. Sure. We are still quite near the water, Nick. Actually, like over here. We're on like a cliff that looks over the lake. I mean, that is really a nice. view that I want, Isaac. I'll tell you what. There is also, there's, there's some kind of creature in the water. Yo, oh, yeah, it's the freaking mummy long legs again. Look at yeah, it. Yeah, that is, oh, it's got so many legs. I don't know, the, the monsters are so creepy Look in this game. bobbing up and down. Bizarre. Oh my God. Oh man. Oh, no, there's another one. Like, there's, do you see like the swimming thing with the legs? Yeah, I saw that when we were swimming. I can't see it right now. It's just gone into the distance. Anyway, Nick, do you want to put down the the hub somewhere around here maybe yeah, there's like flat area. so i will it's make quite the hub. oh yeah there you go look at that Ooh, oh wow it is oh it's Ooh, pretty, God. Can, pretty can you big. see the outline here i can see you moving it around yeah it's, it's, it's pretty big <laughs> oh man can you like scroll wheel or q and e to rotate or something yeah oh like yeah that. look at that all right nick where the flipping do you want to put this thing i mean like here on a diagonal sure yeah go for like it mean, however you want yeah yeah let's do it Okay, we're in business, guys. All right, I think you need to press enter to, yeah, I scared to get rid of that. So this is our hub. This is our hub. I'm gonna skip, I'm gonna press enter to skip this, Nick. I've, so I've played like an hour or two of this. Nick, this is Nick's first time yes. playing this game. He's not seen this before. Uh, so Nick, we've got a couple of things here, right? Uh, over here on the, this side here, we've got the configure hub terminal. If you press E here, mm -hmm. you'll see that uh, there are a bunch of different tiers that you can go through. Yeah. Uh, the first tier, tier zero, has a hub upgrade one. Uh, and the hub upgrade one comes with all of this stuff. So once Ooh. we get the hub upgrade one, we get like all we get all this stuff here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over here behind us, we have a crafting bench. This guy right here. If you press is escape or E and then turn around. Uh, yeah. This guy here, configure crafting bench. You press E here. You'll see that we can make iron ingots, iron plates, and iron rods. So if you select iron ingots, you'll see that one uh, iron ore gets you one iron ingot, right? And you can click the craft button. You gotta like press and hold it. It takes like a, a second to make. Oh, I can't use it because the craft bench is occupied, Isaac. Oh, we can only do oh okay. only one at a time. So if you wanna if you wanna open that then now and take a take a peek. Aha. Uh -huh. So if I click on the iron. Oh god, <laughs> look at the guys here. So I can make yeah, these iron the ingots. Iron. Right. Yes, yeah, so you can click and hold the craft button in the middle and it'll craft iron ingots like continually oh, for nice. you, right? Yeah, you'll just it keep does. doing yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah you don't I have see to. That. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but you are limited there, so you can't like rapid click to make a bunch of them. Mm. You have to kind of wait uh, as it as it uh let, let you do that i guess um so uh in, if you come out again and you look inside of the uh, hub configuration terminal here to unlock tier zero and the hub of grade one right at the bottom there it says we need 10 what i assume are like iron rods so we need to make 10 iron rods 10 iron rods uh, are made from got it 10 iron plates which is made from 10 iron ore right how many iron ingots do you have nick um i have 15 and i can make 15 iron rods so i will just craft nice. up the 10 iron rods five six seven eight nine ten Beautiful. I'm going to harvest some berries. I think this food is how we eat. Um, also, I'm pretty sure that the early game power that we go for is biofuel, and we use these leaves for power. So I'm just going to collect a bunch of leaves here whilst you upgrade Initial the upgrade the pod. Uh, yeah, here we go. Beautiful. Oh, we're doing so well, Nick. Look at that. Oh, look at that. We got a milestone. Oh, oh. amazing. And so now if you look inside of the... I know, right? It's crazy. 
do you have the uh, so can you drop the iron rods in there and click upgrade hub? Uh, yeah, I did. I did. I've done it. Oh, mine says mine says maybe we both have to do it. Oh yeah, because it says waiting for resources. Actually, yeah. Oh, I've done oh, it. Oh, there you go. You've done it. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh. And then it upgrades our hub, Nick. Look at this. You have Amazing. Look at this. Oh. Like new building buildings, a... new equipment. This is like oh. the, the, the 22nd century version of building a shed, Isaac. Yeah, this is... Oh, it's, it's brilliant, Nick. It's, I'm going to skip this lady again because she just keeps talking. Yeah. So, like, over here, Nick, we now mm -hmm. have a biomass burner, which will... Ooh, wow be used for power so in here we can put things like uh, you might have some leaves in your inventory if you've been collecting any like of these things oh, i don't around. unfortunately but i can go and grab some here we go i've got some yeah, just get so you, leaves. Put that in here. you can we can just whack those in yeah you can just click and drag uh, you can also like uh right click to if you hold right click you can then split the stack oh yeah i just see that oh and you can split it like yeah like however you like, want yeah yeah that's real to nice the number. real nice and you can just drag and drop it in there Beautiful. There it is. Look, oh, at, look that. at that. Look at that. <laughs> it's crunching the like it's, it's getting the job up my done. leaves. Crunching your leaves. Oh, beautiful. Uh, and so again, like we got a similar thing going on here. We got a personal storage box, our very own chest, mm. and then now we've got access to Hub Upgrade Two. Hub Upgrade Two wants ten iron plates, ten iron rods, and fifty copper wire. So if you press C again, right, we do now have the ability to scan for copper, which we are going to have to do, hopefully. We have some nearby. Yeah. Um, I, I'm. What does the copper texture look like compared to iron? I think it. Uh, it looks very similar, but just a little, a little different. If that's right. At all you, so my question to you is: Do you see any? Because I don't know whether this is iron think or copper. So no. Then. I see the iron. Obviously, that's right yeah. next to us. Three sets. Um, I, yeah. Yeah. I have a. A, poo, a bad feeling that we might not have like any copper nearby. Right. Um, so, <laughs> if you want, Nick, all right, if you want to do some more iron mining and then, you know, craft up some rods and whatnot so that we're ready to upgrade and maybe grab some flowers and stuff, I'm going to head out in this direction, see if I can't find any copper for us. All right. All right. Here we go. Let me, let me see. Oh, Do you get it, Isaac? Because you press C. You press to C. To yeah. <laughs> where everything is. Oh, it's not showing me where that oh. iron is anymore. Uh, okay. Okay. One of, you know, one of the things I love about this game, Nick, it looks surprisingly good. It does like, look quite good, doesn't it? And this real, yeah. came out, like, t two minutes ago. It did! <laughs> yeah, the game's just come out in early access. It's on the Epic Games Launcher, and Nick and I have just, uh, just grabbed it. And mm. it's, uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm happy with it, Nick. You know, it's, it, it runs quite well, and it's, uh... It does. It's pretty, pretty nice to look at. It's like, I, I assume we're getting later into the day right now because there's like this purple haze. Yeah. It's kind of covering covering the area. My question uh, is do do bad things come out, Isaac? I don't at think night. so. Like, okay. from what I've played thus far, uh, there are bad things about, but then they, they, they're not like specific to the night time, right? They're just cool. about all the time. Yeah. You know, they're never not here. Like, I've come up to some new copper ore and some baddies have come out. But they're leaving me alone. Oh, they're not leaving me alone. They're not leaving me oh, alone. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I find most of the animals in this game are not the not passive. They do like actively. Oh wow! Oh, he's going for you, me, which is you know pretty bad. Um, I've gone quite far away, honestly. I kind of wish that uh, much like with the iron, I wish they would give you a little number to let me know how far away from you I am. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that would be really nice if you're watching game developers. Um. Did you say you found copper or are you at iron still? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm just trying to fund off some enemies. Okay. <laughs> Usually I find just running away is like the best, the best Ooh, strategy. It is copper, Isaac. I found some copper. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm so far away. I'm legit maybe a kilometer away. From wow. You I point. found <laughs> copper only about 200 meters away. But it was weird, right? Well, because it came on my oh, second man. scan, but I only I scanned it in the same place. And the first time I scanned it said there was a load of iron. Then the second time I scanned it, it said there was a load of copper. Okay. So, like, where did the iron go? Well, you know, I've got a nice idea for the scenery, I guess, if, if nothing else. Right. But uh, I, don't know, I don't know if I'm scanning copper correctly. Like, I don't see any copper, I don't think, on my, on my scan. I'm seeing a lot of iron, but... It looks, like, slightly greenish with a bit of, like, shiny metal, copper-coloured metal in the middle. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Like I said, I just ran... I'm 700 metres away. I just ran 700 metres to find another iron patch. So oh, I mean, right. that's well, If you good. get some of that, I mean, it won't, at least it won't be the end of the world. 
I, I'm just on my way back. I'm not even I'm not even bothered with it, Nick. I'm just coming right back. Oh, man. Oh, fair enough, man. Fair enough. I mean, I think we do need more. I know. I've got 126 copper, though, from this hall, and there's still plenty more to go around, so... You can get a surprising amount of iron, I think, from just the default, uh, like the, those little pot patches. Like that patch has a lot of iron in it. Like we don't, we don't. Right. I don't think we have to go and find more iron quite so early on. So we can just we, use the I base one. A bit of it. It's so foggy. Are you seeing all this fog? Um. Oh yeah. Like it has the area that I'm in, yeah. it's, it's so incredibly fog dense. Like, I wonder if that's heck? got anything to do with the purpleness. Oh, I tried to pet a lizard doggo as well. It didn't like it. No, oh, man. yeah, they're being a bit, you know, Jesus. Yeah. Being would great, you, would they, you have a lizard doggo, Nick, if, if you could get one? Oh, yeah, you bet I would. That thing looked well like, cute. Like if it, was, if it was the option between a normal dog and a lizard doggo, you'd take a, you, a lizard doggo you, over the normal you, dog? You bet I'm going to be having a lizard doggo, Isaac. Damn. Yeah? You don't get those rounds every day. It's a conversation style of nothing else, right? Exactly. Think about the party trick. You know, yeah. bring out your oh, lizard man. doggo that walks it's, backwards, yeah. you know. Give me this is an absolute showpiece. And I'm sure they're quite friendly, you know, they like being petted. Uh, yeah, it's both lizard and dog. It's crazy. All right. Well, I'm okay. back. Hi, so, Nick. Hi, man. Welcome. I'm making some copper ingots, which means Where I can make this? copper wires. Where is this copper? Uh, it's like that way. Let me scan again. Wait, th Nick, north, east, south, or west? It's very be... east, Isaac. Very, very east. east. Is it like east? Is it east, like 266 meters away? Yeah, it's like northeast, is it? Uh, oh, is that iron? Like, I see a 248 that's, that's looks think, like iron. I, where are you? Because <gasps> I'm looking from the, the point of the HQ base. Oh, Nick, we're idiots. Yeah. We didn't even read the goddamn message. <laughs> what does it say on the uh, left? <laughs> uh, hmm. uh, oh, Nick. All right. With, <laughs> Listen. How are we so I feel bad at like, games? Like, I feel what? like I did it well. I did it correctly, right? Because I found the copper, right? No? Yeah. So, oh, man. Right. <laughs> it quite clearly says hold C to decide what resource you're going to scan for. Oh, man. Well, it's okay, Nick. Well, I did that out. That's fine. So we got some copper. I'm going to go mine some copper, Nick. I think we need... I think you do get quite a lot of wire per bit of copper, but just in case. Yeah, I get more so copper, I, can, yeah. I have the capacity to make 180 now. How many did you say we needed? We need 50 copper wire. Oh, that's fine. I'm going to make it. Here we go. 50 copper okay, wire. Okay, cool. Yeah, you probably have everything it takes to make. I don't know how much iron you've got, but you might have enough to upgrade the the, the whole thing, Nick. Do, just do, like, do, get do, it going. Do. Let's have a look. E to configure the terminal. Hub upgrade two. Uh, I just need 10 rods and 10 plates. And I think, yeah, I can get that quite easily. Beautiful. So, so one of the first things that we do get with one of the first upgrades is the ability to start auto crafting this stuff, you know, so we can get, I think the, in the next upgrade, we might get like a, oh, actually, no, yeah, I think one of the next things we're going to get is like an auto, oh gosh, yo, this game is real nice looking, look at the sky right now, it's super, super like, nice looking, <laughs> is, the, is the best I can say, I, I believe I like you, it. man, I believe you. But what I was saying is one of the first things we do get is the ability to autocraft. So you get like a machine that you can place down that will, that you can like Just pump iron into you. and it'll automatically make iron ingots. Yeah, nice. automatically, which is real nice. And then from there on out, we can get conveyor belts. You know, we can get auto miners that are of course going to mine for us and then, you know, pump, use the conveyor belts to move those automatically to the machines that turn iron ore into iron ingots and then, you know, progress on and, and automate everything. Nick. Nice. Oh, it's so blue now. Hey man, are you at base? I'm here. I'm behind you. Yeah. Okay, what's what's this? Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at Nick. We got a freaking room. We got a we have got a room. This is look nice. Look at this. Congratulations, you have unlocked. Oh, where you at, Nick? Where you at? I'm just inside the room. Cool. Hello. We got no. We got like an actual room. Oh God, yeah, we do. We can put There's some not, beds down in here, but it's put some TV got... in. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Do you reckon we get like satellite here? You reckon we can connect to the yeah. to the networks? We get you know like Rick and Morty. They get alien TV. Oh, right, that's, that's what, what we're getting, we man. We're getting alien TV. <laughs> oh, man, Nick, look at this freaking crafting bench now. Look at this. We've got iron ingots, iron plates. We've got cables, biomass, concrete screws. Oh, yeah. All kinds of stuff we can make in there now, Nick. Oh, yeah. oh, look at all of Oh, God, yeah. Look at all of that. Woof. I know, right? It's crazy. Oh, so, man. Yeah, you can see if you press Q now, um, and then under production, we've got so, stuff like the smelter. Yes. And so if we get five iron 
rods? Is that what they called? Uh, yes, there are iron rods. I have two. Yeah. Um, if you get five iron rods and eight copper wine, we can make a smelter, which can be automated by feeding iron ore into uh, into it with a conveyor belt connected to the input and produce ingots. Cool. So that's five iron rods and what else do you say? Uh, and eight copper wire. Uh, eight copper wire. Uh, yeah. And then we can make so Q, and that's the smelter. Yeah. I've got it. Here it is. Nice. And uh, what I really like is that you can see the outline here. And you can see the input and output as well. So where would we want to put this? I feel like we want to have this, Nick. You want to have it fairly close to the base because of the fact that we need to power it with the biomass generator. Right. Although there are there are poles. Oh, there's a lizard dogger. There are poles, like power poles we can use. I feel like we want to make sure that the input side is facing nearest to our iron ore. Right, which right? is... And the output side... So the so other I think way. The orange then. side is input. Yeah, like 180. This thing. Here we go. Yeah. There we go. Is this? I have no idea. Like, so I, I don't know if it's a better idea to have the machine close for power or close to the iron. I feel like it might be a better idea to put it close to the iron. Right. Because I feel like the power poles are going to be cheaper than the conveyor belts. Do you know what I mean? Sure. I think sure. it's going to be cheaper to get. Oh gosh. It got real dark all of a sudden. I feel like it's going to be a lot cheaper to get the uh, the power poles over to the iron than it is to get the iron over to the power. Yeah. All yeah. right. So we want it like near here then. Somewhere near here, I think, would be ideal, Nick. So that okay. as soon as we unlock miners, we can just start pumping it. Shall we put pumping it, it in over here? Like here? Yeah, that seems fine. Like here. Here we go. And... I'm going to assume, Nick, that the first time we play this, it's going to be a mess anyway. Just like a spaghetti yeah, oh, mess yeah, of nonsense. Definitely. Well, you can climb oh, up there's a bit. The freaking ladder on it. Yeah. Oh. Like that. All right. So now inside the configurator, you can see that you can select either iron ingots or copper ingots. So you can select what you want it to uh, to produce, what you're going to sure. pump into it, and, uh, and then let it work. Uh, and so now, I believe it does look like we were given uh, a power line. Like I've, I've got one on my hot bar. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, so do I, actually. Yeah. Yeah. And so with two, I believe that we can... How do we do this now? We can, like, connect this... It does show us, yeah. I'll, I will uh, ditch... Uh, oh, I need mine. a cable, I see. Okay, so uh -huh. I can't put mine down yet because it says missing wire, missing iron rods. So we need to craft something. We need to craft stuff. Yes, yeah, so if you make some wire, make some iron rods. Yeah, I'm also wondering if it's worth, like, me making my own hub just because of the fact that, like... Oh, no, actually, that's fine. I'll just make my own crafting bench. It looks like I can make a separate crafting bench. Oh, nice. So nice. I'm going to do that so that we can we don't have to... Real quick, I'm going to craft up some stuff here so we don't have okay. to, you know, work together in, in the same crafting bench. There's also a function here called add to to-do list. You can right mouse button to add things to a to-do list. I don't know how that works, but, you know, you can kind of, like, queue things up if you want. Oh, that's good. I guess for self-reference then. Or who knows, maybe there's even a an auto start, uh, thing. Look at this size. This little three D printer here. Little, you know, CNC mill or a, a, a drill. You know, got a little microscope. I wonder if I could put this like on. I think it has to be outside still. All right, Nick. Right. You know what? I, I want. I want to see. I want a, a view when I'm crafting. Wow. So, yeah. Right that's right. You can edge. sit in that little. You can sit in that little shed if you want, Nick. No, you know what? I'll long. enjoy my shed, Isaac. While you're out I'm on the gonna freaking have balcony. Mine right here. Jeez. Look at this. Oh. Oh, look at the view that I get whilst I craft. Oh, oh. my gosh. Wow, Beautiful. that is that is a view, to be fair. I know, right? <laughs> that is a view. I feel like the council are not going to allow this thing. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> kind of... <laughs> that cliff's eventually going to just fall off while you're on there. You're like, oh, yes, I'm going to make some power poles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know you mean, Nick. I don't know you mean. All right, so I think the way this works, ideally, is that we... Produce cable. What is cable made of? Cable's made of wire, I see. Mm. So you make copper wire, you turn that copper wire into cable. And then I think at that point, we can begin putting down these power poles. Sure. Uh, oh, I'm missing. Oh, no, you need a concrete, by the looks of it, to put down a power pole. Oh, like, wow. If you press, so is your, if you press number one, does it bring uh, yeah. up your power pole? Yeah. You'll see at the bottom there, it says like six. Well, mine says six out of three copper wire. Oh, then you've got iron rods. And mine says missing, missing concrete. concrete. Can't yeah, 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 that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so concrete right. is made from limestone. Is that right? Uh, it says it needs three limestone. How the heck do you make limestone? Mm. Maybe we have to... Actually, let's... Here we go. Let me we can hold the... C, we can look for it. Oh, we can. Yeah. Oh, man, they've... This has changed, Nick. They've rebalanced this since I played it. Like, for me, they gave out those... 
Oh, yeah. So it's 400 meters away, 200 meters away. Oh, I'll come with you, Nick. Yeah, when this I played this like originally, mm -hmm. they gave out those, like, the miners, like, candy. Like, as soon as I found Iron Ore, they were like, here, have a miner, ultimate ah. it. They've, they've tweaked this a little bit. Like, I didn't get limestone at all in my first little playthrough. Um, you know, I didn't, uh, I didn't, this was, this has been changed ever so slightly to make things different, which is interesting. I'm, I'm intrigued to see what they do with this game. Because, like, right now, I think, um, oh, I need to press C again. Right now, I think there's a lot of pretty basic stuff in like there's a lot in the game but i'm really intrigued to see if they do things with like the oh is this the limestone this is it yeah oh i'm intrigued to see if they do things with like the animals like i, I don't know if they're involved at all yeah you know, like if we have to farm them or harvest them or do what with them um i know in my playthrough i played on the other maps this is a new map that's available with early access it wasn't available with like the pre-alpha mm. stuff that they uh they like play there was like a giant flying or like a giant moth that would just fly above occasionally it was massive right and i just like i don't know you know that's... what its purpose is yeah i wonder yeah. if you can harvest them in any way because that would make them you more useful than a nuisance right yeah i do know that the the little like armadillo creatures that charge at you like little rhinos mm -hmm. when you kill those they do drop like an item that you can pick up and, right. and is usable uh see. There's, there's a lot of crazy stuff like a lot of crazy stuff all right, cool. I can put my power pods out now. Nice. Do you have concrete, or are you just going? Do you need to? I make made some concrete. concrete. Yeah, I made some. Concrete. Oh, nice, nice. So, okay, I think I can also place my power pole down as well. So we want to place this down. I don't know what the distance is like on yeah on power poles, right? So there is, I believe, E to configure biomass burner power line. Ah, okay. So I clicked on the thing, and then now I can run this. Okay, so let's see. How far this goes. Oh, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. And we won't even need two. That is true. I don't know if I could just... Oh. Oh, you can. Can't afford wire is too long. Is ah. what it says. <laughs> but that might just be because I'm not... I don't have the wire on me. Oh, no, I do have... Uh, so I, wonder I only if have you just a couple need... wires on me. I don't... I think... Oh, actually, how many do I have? I, I do wonder have... if I just need more wires to make that yeah. work. Or if you have to have space between your pylons, you know what maybe, I mean? Maybe it is just wire dependent. So if you just make a load of, of cable wiring. Yeah, let's have a look. I mean, I've got five. I don't know how much is, you know, a good amount to have. Sure. <laughs> honestly, but let's see. So run that from here. Where can I run this stuff? So right now I, I, I can't build this. Why can I not build this? Do you have your concrete? I might be missing, I do have my concrete. I might be missing like the iron or something now. Oh, do you want some? I've got bits that I can. Can you drop it? I. I think so. Does that work? Uh, on oh, the yeah, floor, there. Iron rods on the floor. There you go. Nice. Anything okay, else let's, you need? I mean, um, oh, I'm missing the wire. The actual oh, yeah, copper here you wire. Here you go. Oh, uh, copper wire is 38. Oh, <laughs> look how big this is. <laughs> <laughs> it's massive on <laughs> real, isn't it? Oh, man. That's crazy. Okay, so let's see. We're going to connect this up. So, how far can we go with this i'm gonna try to just connect it up so it says wire is too long but yet this oh, that works. works okay and so then we just do this to this oh look oh, at it's that fired up oh we've done it nick we've done the we've very done basics it. of what is needed beautiful and so now do you have any iron ore or anything uh i do yeah i do so we can all right yeah we've done mining as well look at this it's using amazing our, it's using our leaves to produce iron. It's going to be 30 per minute right now. That's not too bad. You know, Damn. 30 iron a minute. That's not, not crazy fast, but it's not terrible. You know, we could run another, like, we could pull off this wire, I guess, and run over to where the copper is. Yeah. And pull back. I'm starting to think, like, I, don't, I guess you can't win, really, right? Because the, the idea is that we're either going to have to pipe the iron from where it is to where the smelter is, or we're going to have to pipe the ingots from where they're produced yeah, to where we are. Yeah. Right? It's like, it's a lose-lose scenario exactly. either way. So I we're going to have to transport stuff either way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, complete your hub upgrade three. Build constructors to automate uh, production of simple parts. Build power poles to extend your power grid. Expand production to upgrade faster. So the only other thing that uh, we've unlocked now is, if you press Q again, under manufacturers, we now have the ability to make a constructor which requires three uh, yeah. reinforced iron plates and two wires. Let me just see real quick if I've got what it takes for reinforced iron plates. So they need 24 screws, which thankfully are made in, in large amounts. Mm -hmm. Like they're not super difficult to make. And then iron plates. So I think I've got what it takes to make at least one reinforced iron plate. How many do I need? 
Uh, let's see. You will need uh, three. Okay. All right. How much is all of our iron ore inside of this uh, smelter? Uh, I put all of mine in. I've got 18 okay. ingots on me, though, actually. Um, oh, nice. Well, do you want to see if you can craft up a, a reinforced iron plate real quick? Uh, let's have a look. So I need some screws. So I need to make... What do I need to make screws? I need plates and something else. Let's I think see. it's just iron, is it not? Oh, it just needs rods. Here we go. Mm, okay. So we are out of power already. I don't think that this... I've got 289 leaves, so I guess I can put some in this generator. I don't think the early generator here is particularly powerful, but I think the next upgrade that we get does make this significantly better. So let's dump like 50 leaves cool. in there. Insert fuel. How Boom. many... Um, we need three to... reinforced iron plates. You need 24 screws per... Okay, so I just need a little bit... Oh, I need a bit more iron now. Just a little bit more iron. Okay. Uh, do you have what it takes to make one reinforced iron plate i do have the one i do have one do you want to just come bring that to me because i think i've got what it takes to make the other one do 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 whereabouts are you by your i am at my crafting, crafting table yeah yeah here you All go right. uh reinforced iron plate there beautiful so i think nick i have everything it takes to make this battle oh, no, i need uh, two cable Real quick. Uh, I think I, can make... I have some cable, actually, that I can lend you. It's okay. I've got oh, it. I got okay. it. I got it. I can make 17. All right. Nick. So, again, I don't know where we want to put this. I mean, I guess we could put it kind of near to the iron thing. Because, like, sure. ideally now, the smelter is going to smelt the ore into ingots. But then, if we wanted to, for example, automate plates, we're going to have to take the iron out of this guy. I also love how you pointed it away from the base. Like, just out into the, the, yeah. the, the nothingness here. But if we do something like... And I've yet to play with the conveyor belt, so I have no idea how good or bad of an idea it's going to be. But if we do, like, you know, this. Yes. The theory is that we can pump out of here into, into that. here. Nice. Yeah. And then, like, if you press E on this, you'll see it's just got all the items that we can already make. I see. And now we can just click on, like, iron plates, for example. And as soon as it gets two iron ingots, it will begin making iron plates. So and that's the Factorio vibe. Mm. That's the Factorio vibe. We can get an auto miner, hopefully next episode, mine all the iron up, put it into the smelter, pipe that over, Viking Bay Bolts over into the, you know, constructor, and the constructor can make it into plates for us, and then, you know, onwards into rods or whatever we like, Nick, and we can, and then eventually, I don't know where we pump it to, like, at the end, maybe into some kind of storage system of some mm -hmm. description. I'm not quite sure. Do you have the ability to hook this up to power real quick? Like, do you have, uh, uh, do you press I have two? a power pole. Oh, I'm missing a I'm missing bits, unfortunately. Ah, but if you press two, Nick, mm -hmm. um, and grab the just the wire, can you and like can you click on this power line and then click on the constructor? Uh, I'll click on this one here. Oh no, I'll have to click on this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one there, and I think s oh, I'm missing cable. I'm missing cable. Ah, okay. Do you have any cable? I have. Oh, no, I don't, actually. Here we go. Oh, I mean, you're running away. I do have a cable. Oh, okay. do you? <laughs> oh, yeah, here you go. How do we do this? Just drag and drop? Oh, yeah, there you go. Look at that. Beautiful. Here we go. So, uh, power two on that. Oh, I've got one out of two. I need one more. Oh. <laughs> it's so close. Of course. Of course. <laughs> oh, man. Do you have what it takes to make one? Here we go. Let me go and grab one. Yeah, go ahead and grab one real quick. But I think that's the basic vibe, Nick. And so I'm, I'm intrigued to see what happens. In the early alpha thing, they had like two stages available. So like inside of the uh, the crafting, the, 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 the base upgrading machine, where we're at tier zero and there were like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven locked stages. Right. In the alpha, you can only go through like stage one and two. In the early access version that we're playing, you can do like stages three, four, and then maybe like five and six. There were quite a few like extra phases that you can do. And I'm not gonna, I mean, Nick, do you want me to read some of these names for you? We've got tier zero, and then some of the locked ones. It says, complete the hub, complete the hub, complete the space elevator phase one, complete the space elevator phase two, and complete the space elevator phase three. Right. Are, we, are we going to space? Is I think the, it seems like Is that it. the plan? Are we getting out of here? Making a lift oh, to space. Man. We're Check going out, all man. the way up. We're in oh, power. Boy. I can't wait. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, Nick, I think we didn't get a whole lot done today. 
mostly because we were kind of getting the ropes, you know, mm, figuring out what was definitely. what. Um, especially given that we spent 10 minutes trying to find copper, which, you know, it's fine. All right. You know, we don't have to talk about that, Nick. We got some iron. We got some basic automation going. We got some power. Next time we can come back, we can upgrade our base and uh, try not to die to the various monsters that mm. are lying around, Nick. But I think that is a perfect place to wrap up for today. As always, guys, if you did enjoy the video and you want to see more satisfactory in the future, be sure to go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new here to get notified as soon as new videos go out. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye! Goodbye.